you guys, I had to hop on the good old webcam. I tried to grab my vlogging camera so that it would be better quality, but of course the battery is dead and I ain't got time because right now I just need to, mm, I need to talk. I need to get a message out there. I need to make this video. I just feel compelled. I just feel like hallelujah right now. I just feel a rush of happiness and positivity over me and I just wanted to like share this with you guys. I already started going in on Twitter because usually when I feel some type of way and I have something on my mind, I always rush to Twitter and just type all of my thoughts out and tweet to you guys. But I started typing and I was like, you know what? I need to make a video. I just feel compelled to make a video. So basically, like the past, I would say over the past few months, it has been slowly like becoming like this, but especially in the past few weeks, I have just noticed myself feeling happier, just feeling more positive, feeling like, I don't know, like just happy, just like a rush of positivity like added into my life. And you guys know if you follow me that I have struggled with anxiety and depression like all my life. I've talked about it on my channel a lot. Um, there was definitely a really, really low point when it got pretty serious um, in college. And then when I was pregnant with Zaya, it was a scary time for my anxiety and my depression. And then pretty much after I had Zaya, that was just such a big life change that of course it had a major effect on me and luckily for me it had a positive effect on me and I actually did not experience postpartum depression or anything like that and my depression I just feel like I actually got a better control over it and I kind of just learned what worked for me in terms of coping mechanisms and stuff so um, basically ever since I had Zaya so for the past two years my depression and anxiety has been actually doing a lot better and I've been coping with it a lot better but, you know, it's still something that's kind of always there and it always kind of cycles back up. And I've had some low moments. Um, but like I said, the past few months, I've experienced way less of it. And the past few weeks, I've just experienced like just a noticeable change in terms of how happy I am and how positively I'm thinking um, because I feel like there's a difference between like everything in your life is perfect. Nothing's going wrong. So you feel great. And actually just having a positive mindset where, yeah, there's still always things that go, go wrong, but you're able to still maintain a positive attitude no matter what. And I feel like recently I've actually just been able to maintain a positive attitude no matter what and that is saying a lot for me because it's really easy for me to go into a negative way of thinking so the message I mean the reason why I'm making this video besides just coming on here and being like I'm happy is to tell you guys something that I try to always tell you guys which is don't give up like, I know it sounds so corny and I'm trying to think of a better way to say it where it doesn't just sound so corny and the same thing that everyone always says, but I'm just trying to show you guys through my literal life experience how things can change and how things can get better and how it's not always going to be like that. You're not always going to feel like that. You're not always going to be struggling with the same thing. Like, things change. And the number one thing to remember is that you cannot give up because if you sit back and just let life happen to you, if you sit back and just let depression take you over and let whatever else take you over, then you're going to get stuck and you're going to get stagnant and life requires effort. It requires a certain mindset, a positive mindset, a mindset of I'm going to get through this. I'm going to do something about this. Even if that first thing doesn't work, I'm going to try something else and something else and something else and I'm not going to give up. And that's like just the biggest life lesson that I have learned recently is that things change like life is forever changing and that's something that I've been trying to teach myself for a long time because somebody told me that a long time ago I mean I knew that a long time ago things change things can always change this is temporary it's not always going to be like this you can get through this but I could never fully believe it because I always felt 
depressed and I always felt like, why is this happening to me? Why is that happening to me? Why is this not getting better? Why is that not getting better? And I could never really believe that things would ever really change. And you guys always ask me about tattoos and I don't currently have any tattoos because I can never decide what exactly I would want to get. I am open to getting one. And the one tattoo that I've always wanted, but I haven't gotten it yet, but I might get it now, is This Too Shall Pass, which a lot of people know it as being like a quote from the Bible, but it's actually technically not a quote from the Bible. It's kind of like a idea taken from the Bible, but obviously it's a very famous quote, This Too Shall Pass. And it basically, to me, I mean, I'm not sure how other people interpret it, but to me, it just means like, this is temporary. This is going to be okay. You will get through this. This is going to pass. And it's just a reminder that everything in life is temporary, not only negative things, but positive things too. So be sure to live in the moment and relish your positive moments because those are temporary too. And you want to enjoy them while they're here. Um, but also with negative things, especially it's like, this is temporary. Everything in life, everything in life, even you yourself, the body that you're in, it's temporary. So you can get through it. It's not always going to be like this. You're not stuck like this. It's not going to be forever because that's something that, when I get low into my depression, I start using words like stuck, forever, hopeless, can't do anything about it, never going to change. And I get stuck in that mindset. And it's only been just recently, and that's the reason why I'm making this video, that I have finally realized like things really do change. Like this too shall pass. Like things really do. Like it's possible. It actually is possible if you have the right mindset and if you prioritize yourself and your goals and your happiness and your health and your self-care everything is possible for everything to change and I just uh, I just feel like I have to try and like relay that message to you guys because I know that tons of people watching me are dealing with something I don't know exactly what it is it could be a wide range of things, different issues, and, you know, just negativities in your life that you're dealing with. I know for me is also a wide range of things in my life. It could be something kind of small, like having a face full of cystic acne that I dealt with for 10 years. And finally, I found something that worked for me and I don't have acne anymore. And that is a huge deal for me. And that's like an example that I always give because it's a small, easy example. But there's also other things that I haven't really necessarily talked to you guys about that were big struggles for me, but now they're finally getting better. And just certain personal things that I was dealing with and, and thoughts that I was having that I just felt like were never going to go away. It's never going to get better. I've been dealing with this all my life and it actually is getting better and it actually is changing. And even certain things like I would always feel like, why do I always get involved with these people who treat me wrong? Why do I always feel like there's people coming in my life bring a negativity into my life. I didn't ask for this. I didn't do anything to you. Why do I attract these type of people? Like, what is the problem here? Why can't I just have good people in my life? And now I feel like I do have good people in my life. I feel like I actually, the fact that I've actually made new friends recently, like actual good new friends, genuine friends, like that's a big deal for me. Getting out of my comfort zone and meeting people and actually feeling confident when I meet those people and feeling like, uh, these people actually like me too and just things like that like it's small things but it's also big things and it's also very private things that I have not even shared with you guys that it's just when you switch your mindset and you keep trying because the thing is it's never going to happen on the first try I can use my acne as an example it definitely didn't happen on the first try it didn't happen on the 25th try it took like 50 tries for me to finally land on something that worked and that was basically right before I was about to just give up and be like you know what apparently I'm just gonna have acne for the rest of my life but I decided to just keep trying take that risk do something different and it worked and that's the same thing with meeting new people making new friends taking risk with your career, trying new things with your career. You guys know my YouTube channel 
is, oh my gosh, my screen just turned off. My YouTube channel is another example of that, um, where I've been doing YouTube for like freaking 10 years. And I felt so, I mean, I was always grateful for what I had because I felt like, well, it's good enough. You know, when I graduated college, I was doing well enough on YouTube that it could be my full-time job and it could pay my bills, bills, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm super famous. I have a million subscribers. I'm working with all the biggest brands. It was kind of like, okay, you're doing good, but you're not doing great. And I was kind of just trying to be grateful for that and just live in that moment. But at the same time, in the back of my head, I was very disappointed. I felt very stuck. I was watching all these other YouTubers doing these things that I wanted to do and it wasn't happening for me. And why is this person going viral and they post a video and it gets 6 million views and then they get a million subscribers overnight. And for me, it's like, I keep working, I keep posting, I keep going for years and it's just not happening. I just stay at this little medium level. And I always felt very disappointed about that. And it wasn't until the past really like six, well, maybe like a little over six months or so that I just said, you know what? No, I'm not stuck. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put in some more effort, do some more research, try something new, ask for help if I need help, because that was also a big issue of mine. And somehow, all of a sudden, in a short amount of time, I'm on the road to a million subscribers, which I never thought I would actually be able to do that. I thought I was going to be one of those YouTubers who gets up to this middle level and then just plateaus and gets stuck and never really like shoots up. Cause that happens to a lot of people, you know, especially YouTubers who started way back in the day when I started, a lot of people just get stuck and they don't really ever reach that top level or whatever. And it's not all about numbers and subscribers and money, but it's more about like, this is my career. This is my passion. It started off as a hobby, something that I love doing. So for me to feel like I'm stuck in a middle ground and I can't get any better than that, was really, really hurtful for me, but I had to change my way of thinking and I had to say, F that, I know I've already been doing it for like eight years, but oh well, we about to do it for eight more years. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how hard I have to work. I don't care. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to sit here and be mad about it, sit here and complain about it, but not do anything about it and sit here and say, well, there's nothing I can do because the YouTube algorithm and I just can't. No, like, Things change. This too shall pass. If you actually believe that it'll change, it will change. And I, I wasn't even in a mindset where I would even believe that things could change. So I definitely wasn't in the mindset of like manifesting things. But recently I've gotten really into manifesting, which is basically just like believing, b believe what you can achieve, achieve and believe. It's basically like saying like me saying, I'm going to reach a million subscribers by October. That's manifesting. It's like, I believe it. It's going to happen. Yes, I'm also going to put in the work to make it happen. I can't just sit back and this is going to happen by itself. But actually believing it and saying it and meaning it when you say it and write it down and blast it out to the world and tell your friends and have people hold you accountable to it. It's like, this is going to happen for me. I believe it. And I'm going to make it happen. And I... I would have never imagined that I would ever even be in the right mindset to be able to do that because I was thinking so negatively and so depressed and so like just down on myself and talking down on myself where now I'm finally in a place where I can talk. Like I noticed myself speaking highly of myself and actually believing it because there might have been times in the past where I would try to like look all confident and happy and speak highly of myself. And I'm so proud and I'm so great. But it was just because like, that's how I wanted to be seen on social media, but I didn't really believe it in my own heart. Meanwhile, I'm crying in my bed, but now it's like, I can speak positively about myself, speak positively about my achievements. I can manifest things. I can say, this is going to happen. And it's actually real. And I actually believe it. And I know I always use YouTube as like the example, but it's really not just about YouTube and and subscribers, there's actually other things going on in my personal life that it also applies to and that it also has been like working with. And I just, it's a new day, you guys. Like right now, I feel like I'm just on the verge of tears. There's been a couple of times over the past few weeks that I've just broke down crying, like tears of joy. And I've never, 
Like, I want to cry right now because I've never experienced that. I've never experienced, like, it sounds so dramatic and I don't know if this is really like true. It's pretty dramatic, but it feels like I've never experienced true happiness before. And now I am. And it's like, not, the goal is not for me to come on here and brag and be like, I'm happy and you're not boo hoo. Look at me. It's to be like, I'm just like you. Like as much as you might look at me as like a YouTuber or some internet person, I'm not. Like I'm just like you. And I know that there are other people out there who, you know, there's a an 18 year old watching this right now who feels exactly how I felt when I was 18, which was trash. And I just want you to feel motivated and inspired and have some hope and be able to look at me and say she did it and she didn't have any like special help or special circumstances. She didn't win the lottery. She didn't get blessed by a bank. Like <laughs> what's your excuse? And I don't mean that in a mean way. I just mean it in like a hopeful way. Like if I can do it, if this can happen to me, if I can go from being so negative and so depressed and not knowing what I'm doing with my life and different things that have happened in my personal life with personal relationships and my pregnancy and being a single mom and just stuff, like I said, stuff that I have been dealing with that I've never talked about online. If this can happen for me, if I can change my mindset around, you can too. Like it's possible. You, the first step is just believing that it's possible. And that, and I know it sounds so corny, but that was the biggest thing for me is that I never even believed that it was even possible so I already set myself up for failure. It's like if you're struggling in school and you're just like, well, I'm never going to graduate. It's, it's impossible. I, I, there's no way I can do it. I'm never going to graduate. Okay, then you're never going to graduate because with that mindset, you're really not. But if you at least take that first step of saying things can change, it's not always going to be like this. I'm not always going to have these issues. It is possible for me to have X, Y, and Z and do X, Y, and Z and achieve these goals. Like write them down. I was talking about this on my Instagram stories the other day. Write your goals down. I have several little notebooks and notepads and documents on my computer and on my phone where I'm just constantly writing down my goals, whether it be YouTube, personal life, whatever, financial, emotional, all types of goals, all types of things that I want to overcome, things that I want to achieve, things that I want to do in my life, write them down, break it down, break it down day by day. What are you going to do day by day to make this happen? Can you take little steps day by day to reach a monthly goal? And then the monthly goal turns into a yearly goal and then a five-year plan and a 10-year plan. Like write it down, break it down, do some research if you need to on how to make it happen. But it's possible. And if you just start by believing that it's possible and really, like you have to have a, like a can-do attitude. Like I will make this happen. Not I wish this is going to happen. I will make it happen. And it sounds corny. And, and I, I remember I saw a therapist a while back, like years ago, who would tell me to do self affirmations. And like, she told me like, get up every morning and look in the mirror and say, I love myself. I am happy. I am successful. And I thought that was the stupidest thing in the world. And I never did it because I was like, that's stupid. A, it's not true. B, I don't believe it. C, standing in the mirror and saying that out loud makes me feel like an idiot and just makes me want to cry because I know it's not true and I know I don't believe it. And I just thought it was so stupid. But it's you don't necessarily have to do it that way. But at least be able to think it to yourself, at least be able to write it down because it makes a world of a difference. And it's how I feel right now, the things I'm experiencing and the things that I'm like realizing, it just makes me think back to, I'm remembering now like what people have told me, like what therapists have told me, what my parents have told me, what other successful people have told me. And I didn't believe it. I was like, that's stupid. Like, that's not true. It's not that simple. Like, you don't understand how I feel. You don't understand what I'm going through. But now it's like, it's true. And I just can't, I just can't believe it. So I just wanted to make this video because I just felt compelled. I just really want, like, that's really the whole point of my entire 
internet career, my entire YouTube channel, my vlogs and everything that I write on Twitter and stuff is to just let you know, like I'm showing you where I came from. I'm showing you my struggles. I'm showing you everything, the ups and the downs. And I'm showing you a lot of downs a lot of times, but I'm showing you how things can change and things can get, can, can get better and you can do it and it's possible. And I'm just a regular person like and I just hope that it can be inspiring because I feel like hopefully the most inspiring things are the things that are just the most realistic and relatable and not saying like I was homeless last year but this year I'm a billionaire and it's just like that's not real <laughs> like we can't relate to that so for me it's been a long journey long like when I I remember feeling depressed when I was 11 or 12. That's about as far back as I can remember. I know that it was probably even earlier than that, but I remember having moments where I just felt, I don't know, if you deal with depression, you understand like this feeling of just being like in a black hole of like sadness and hopelessness and like just like nothing matters, nothing matters. And I remember feeling like that when, when I was like 10 years old. And so it's been, it's been a long journey and also all the things that I've just kind of like gone through in my life. And I mean, you guys have seen it, especially those of you who have been following me for a long time, you guys have seen kind of the different obstacles and levels of my life. So it's, it's not an overnight thing at all. And that's also hard to accept, but it's just not. It's usually not going to be a quick process. It's something that you have to stick to and you have to be consistent and you have to prioritize it and you can't fall back into the dark side because that's when you're just going to go backwards and it's not going to work. But if you just try, keep trying. And for me, the reason I feel the reason why it took so long is because I did keep falling back. I kept on being like, it's not working. I'm falling back. I don't like this. Like, and I just kept like, it's like when you're dozing off to sleep, if you let yourself doze off and fully go to sleep, it's over and you just keep slowing yourself down. But I just finally, I just feel like I unlocked something right now. And it's just crazy because it's like, it seems like everything is happening like so fast all at once. It's like, once you unlock that higher level of thinking, it's like, just everything starts rushing in. I feel like I just opened the door to the ocean and all the water is coming in. It's like, I can breathe. Like, hallelujah. Like, it's crazy. I know I sound like a crazy person right now, but I just been thinking about this the past few days. Like, is this real life? Am I buying at home? Am I talking about getting a new car that I've always wanted? Am I having better relationships, better friendships? Am I about to hit a million subscribers? Am I about to turn 25 and have my dream birthday trip? Am, am I actually happy right now? Like, is this what this feels like? Like, it's insane. It's insane. And you guys just need to believe that you can do it too.